Hello and welcome back to another episode of Daru with Devin. I am Devin and this is Daru. Today we have Jack Daniel's Tennessee Apple. Is it a whiskey? Is it something else? Let's find out. So this is Jack Daniel's Tennessee Apple. It actually does not qualify as a whiskey. It is, as the bottle says, finely crafted apple liqueur from the makers of Jack Daniel's. So it's not a whiskey. It's actually a liqueur. So the difference is that after the whiskey is made, they flavor it with apple and then they add some sugar or some sort of sweetener to it, which uh, brings down the alcohol percent to 35%. And so it's not really a whiskey. It's closer to a liqueur like Kahlua. Uh, on the back, it doesn't have much. I got this from Duty Free. So the labeling is a little different from what you'd find uh, in the domestic market, but in the domestic market, this is around 2300 2300 for a 750 ml bottle, which is a fair price. A uh, very simple bottle. And uh, to my surprise, this is actually flavored with green apples. I would expect whiskey to pair well with red apples. The smell is quite pleasant. It has like a Jolly Rancher green apple, you really can't. The whiskey is on the back, like probably a caramel apple. That's what you smell. So as you can see, a light golden liquid. Jack Daniels uses caramel coloring in their whiskey, so no surprise there. Uh, the nose is actually really pleasant. It uh, has that vibrance of a green apple, which I wasn't expecting, but uh, cheers. Jack Daniels knows how to not make things extremely sweet. That said, it's of course a liqueur, so it is going to be an after dinner drink. It's not something that you would pour down and have multiple rounds of because it is sweet. I'd see this pairing really well with a ginger ale. Uh, I recently tried Jimmy's cocktails ginger ale and I find it much better than Schweppes. It actually tastes like ginger. So give it a try with ginger ale. My only problem with this is that uh, growing up in India, green apple immediately reminds me of magic moments green apple. And so uh, depending on how you've experienced that uh, beverage, you might have good or bad memories that you associate with this kind of smell. Goes down extremely smooth 35% uh, alcohol you can really uh, go through these fast if you like sweet drinks if you're getting into whiskey this can be a great gateway uh, yeah so that this is a very uh, quick simple fast review of this whiskey I rate this around six and a half out of ten personally I got this bottle around a year back and there is more than half of this one liter bottle left so I wasn't a huge fan of it I've gotten two bottles of honey since but uh, this still is going very slow so uh, seven on ten six and a half on ten but if you enjoy green apple as a flavor this might be for you definitely would go well in a ginger ale that has a strong ginger flavor because uh, you need that with the kind of green apple there is yeah so uh, again regular video is coming out i am trying to get in some uh, exclusive content hopefully uh, within the next month or so i might have some bottles which uh, haven't had a review on youtube since uh, the launch and i'm trying to get some of those bottles in anything else you want anything you have recommendations for 
leave them down in the comments and uh, till then bye